Hey, it's Debbie Williams. Welcome to Soul Fitness Divas. And I'm trying to seriously work this out. It's time for another one. Heart and soul. Okay. Bear with me. Strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. And I need to read you a caption. And it reads... Women need to see regular women who look like us walking and serving as good examples of health. As examples of good health. Let me read that again. Women need to see regular women who look like us walking and serving as examples of good health. You can um, visit girltrek.org. You can visit blackgirlsrun.org.com. Outdoorafro.com, and I'm gonna go ahead and um, and all this kneeling, by the way, that I'm doing, I'm kneeling right now, and it's because of the uh, juicing. No, seriously, um, your joint tissues are made up of cells. Everything in our body is made up of cells, and after years of you know eating um, poorly, even you know when you worked with the knowledge that you had at the time. Um, the cells, they don't get the hydration. My cells have been hydrated. They've been, you know, uh, the, the acidity has been alkalized. The um, detoxification that my knees needed is what made it possible for me to be nailing right now and, you know, presenting this and sharing this with you. Anyway, we've got yoga sisters. We've got biker sisters. We've got marathon sisters. And some tips here. Start by making a commitment to yourself. A commitment to who? Not him, not her, not them. Making a commitment to yourself. Uh, take baby steps because you cannot, after being inactive for a long time or if you're carrying a lot of weight, to jump out there and try to do a P90X or an insanity or just that insanity is exactly what it is. You know, you need to start um, simple. You know, you may need to get out there and uh, start walking, but if you can only do five minutes and you're out of wind, you're out of breath, first of all, you need to see your doctor to make sure you, you need to have a checkup first. But then once you do start, you need to start out slow. So it's, go, it's okay to go ahead and, you know, if you can do five or ten minutes, you know, you just work up. Bugs are attacking, are attacking me. Um, you work up to... 10 minutes and then 15 minutes and then once you get to 30 minutes you know then you can pick up the pace and you know you just have to gauge and, and here's your test your test is if you can exercise and have a conversation with someone then you're working in oxygen your work that that that's your um that's your test to know whether you're you know you're doing too much or you're, you're not um, doing enough. If you can sing and whistle and um, you know you're just kind of like just you know taking little baby steps th then you know your, your body's not working so you know you have to be able to, to talk but you have to be um, breathing and you know feeling like you're working you know or just remember how you felt when you were riding your bicycle and you know you could you could breathe and yell and talk to your friends at the same time and um, then you work your way up from there. So anyway, taking baby steps, very important. Um, you try to overwhelm yourself, you're going to fill yourself with fear, you're going to you fill yourself with discouragement, and you know, that's not what this is supposed to be about, you know, getting discouraged. Get connected. You can do this on Facebook, and uh, by the way, I have a uh, Facebook uh, page, Soul Fitness Divas Rock! Soul Fitness Divas Rock, so you can go ahead and, um, you know, Google that and, you know, friend me on my Facebook channel. Uh, get connected with other people as well uh, to keep yourself encouraged, you know, mot motivated, um, you know, doing this in numbers. And for those of you who have to do this yourself, you know, you'll have to find other ways to stay, you know, um, can, uh, to stay connected and to stay, you know, inspired and motivated. Find your match. Don't just because your girlfriend likes Zumba or this or that or whatever, I mean, you know, if, if you're just about walking 
and um, you know resistance training. Well, I I, I just want to say that you know you really do want to get into some kind of resistance training because as we age, our muscles shorten, they shrink, and they weaken. And you know you go and uh, lift that thing that you've been lifting off the shelf, you know your whole life and then one day you lift the same thing and then you rip you know and now you've got yourself a back strain and you know it's because the muscles have been weakening all this time and you know couldn't take you lifting that box or doing whatever so it's important to you know um, implement some kind of, if you're just going to do walking you know definitely get into some resistance training but you know you don't have to go to Zumba because you know your um, your girlfriend goes to Zumba or um, you know, the people in your office are into it. You know, it's okay to do your own thing. You know, whatever's going to keep you going, you know, do that. Let's see. Um, basically, just keep yourself inspired. You know, uh, stay posted. You know, check out other websites. Check out what other people are doing. Um, grow your own. If you have a yard and you're in a position to grow your own, grow your own and get yourself a juicer. And again, you know, keep yourself inspired. That's the final, you know, uh, suggestion that they have. I'm going to read it one more time before I go. Women need to see regular women who look like us walking and serving as examples of good health. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because I'm being ed up alive by these bugs that won't leave me alone. But it, is, it has been a beautiful day. It's been a beautiful day, and I, and I hope that your day has been beautiful as well. You remember to honor your temple and don't give up. You fall down, you get back up. And with that, I'm going to go. You take care. Bye-bye.